right, guys. Um, hey, coach, uh, when should we increase size on a play? When the risk is low or when the probability is high? The person goes on to say, I have seen you play heavy size when you see low risk. Can I take, can you talk more on this? Yes. Okay. The question is, can size be determined by the amount of risk or the risk unit that you're taking in a trade? All right. And the answer is yes. My size is not entirely determined by risk, but it is partially so. So let me give you an example of this. Let me give you an example of this. Let's say I have a maximum loss per trade of $100. Listen to me carefully, traders. Built into my trading plan is this rule. I will not lose more than $100 on any given trade. That is part of my trading rule, right, as an example. Now. This play I'm about to take has a risk of 40 cents. So the stop, if I take this trade, the stop is 40 cents away. If, so if I take 100 shares of that play, I'll lose $40. But if I take 200 shares of that play, I'll lose $80, which still stays within my maximum $100 loss per trade. I'll do 200 shares versus one. You see what I'm saying? So that helps me determine what size am I going to play here? Can I get away with more without losing more? So I'm going to lose the same 100 or less, but with 200 shares, I have a greater upside potential than with 100 shares, but with the same risk. So I do use risk to determine size. Another example, just to drill that point home, I have a $100 maximum loss per trade. My risk now is 25 cents. Let's say it's 23 cents, just a little bit below 25 cents because that's where the stop is. Now, we don't determine what the risk is. The trade actually does. So on this particular trade, I'm buying above a small bar, right below that small bar. It's 23 cents away. I can do four lots on this play and not increase my risk of $100 or less. You follow what I'm saying? And so one trade that might have a, an 80 cent stop, I can only do 100 shares. The trade that has 40 cents, I can do 200 shares. The trade that has a 23 cent stop, I can do 400 shares. So my risk is the same on all of those, op those trades, but the upside potential is greater with the greater size. So yes, I use risk, my risk unit to determine, my risk unit and my maximum loss per trade to determine how big or small the trade's gonna be. But that's not the only thing that I consider as well for size. I consider upside potential. And I consider not only upside potential, but time duration of the trade. So if my time duration of the trade's gonna be very short, my size goes up. Let me give you an example. If I'm going to hold a stock for five years, I'm going to play it smaller. If I'm going to hold the stock for five minutes, I can play it much bigger. Why? Because what's the odds of something bad happening in five years versus five minutes? The odds are exponentially higher over five years that the unexpected in a bad way happens to me. So I have to lower my size with a five-year play. But five minutes gives me a short enough period of time to believe that a meteor is not going to hit planet Earth, in which case the trade doesn't matter anyway. All right? No additional war is going to break out. In this five minutes, the Federal Reserve is not going to hike interest rates by surprise. Do you follow what I'm saying? So my point is, is that time duration, the smaller my the time duration of my trade, the safer the trade, the longer, the actually, the riskier the trade to a, to a certain extent, all right? This is not universal, but to a certain extent, I want my traders thinking this way. So to take it from a, to take that concept to a pure trading perspective, 
if I'm gonna if I'm gonna play this play for two or three bars, so I'm buying right now, and I think the stock can shoot up two or three bars after this buy. Buy, boom, boom, out. Okay, that's a short term scout play. Buy one bar, two bar out. All right, or short one bar, two bar out. Okay, that's a scout. That's kind of like a scout play. That play, I can play bigger than if I'm going for a play over an hour or so, 50 minutes to an hour. So now because my money is exposed to the possibility of danger longer, all right, I have to, but my gain, my potential gain is bigger, I can afford to shrink the size the shrinking of the size doesn't mean I make less. I could make more because my time horizon is longer. But because more can go wrong, I'm also going to shrink my size. So time duration, also, um, so time duration of the trade, risk of the trade. Narrow state, best position is right above the state. I've got elephant bar. Nice. I enter at the one minute 30 second mark. Remember that? Boom. My stop is under the bar. If it doesn't work, the most I'm going to lose is the elephant bar. Okay. What's my ad? The ad is the first color change to happen after this elephant bar. When is the first time you get a red bar, which is the opposite color? You're playing green, but you get the opposite color. And then a green bar wipes out the opposite color. The moment, the instant, the nanosecond, boom! That's your ad. You must add on the first color change. Without fail, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. But, but Oliver, what if no? The first color change, add. But wait a minute, if no ifs, add, first color change. But Oliver, what if, what if the S&P, what if the market is rolling over? No, add on the, it's mandatory, add on the first color change. Oliver, but what if planet Saturn is not in proper alignment? It doesn't matter, add. What if, what if I fall ill right before the ad? Add anyway, and then go to the doctor. All right. <laughs> but Oliver, tired of that. I want you to imagine, right, narrow state, boom. Perfect position right under the narrow state. This elephant bar forms, boom, you're in at the one minute, 30 second mark, boom, in. Stop above the bar is high. You're not going to lose more than this one bar right there, okay? Now, you're in, um, and let's say you're in two lots. All right, we, I don't want to get into what lots are or whatever, but you're in two, and then you add one right there. Boom, now you've got three total lots in the play. First color change, mandatory. After the initial entry, first color change, mandatory ad. This ad is going to throw you over the top, statistically, over time. What do I mean by throwing you over the top? Guys, it's the ad that actually has you separate yourself from the trading math that's close to break even. So there's, a, there's trading math, and I can't go into it now because you're not my traders yet, but there's trading math that you have to understand as a trader. And... There's a trading math zone in your trade where if you stay right here and just do this, you're going to over time come up around break even. But if you do this one extra thing, it'll throw you out of the break even zone, meaning that you're no longer subject to break even trading. The ad is one of a variety of things that throw you out of the break even math of trading. You've got to be 
a professional adder. And I've just given you one of our professional ads, the first color change after your initial entry.